Ngayon ay pag-aaralan natin kung paano ba mag-solve ng quadratic equation by completing the square. In completing the square, it involves transforming the quadratic equation ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0 into the form of square of x minus h equals k where k should be greater than or equal to 0. Now, bago tayo magsimula sa completing the square, let us try to solve the following quadratic equations by factoring. Let's start with letter A. x squared plus 10x plus 25 equals 0. Okay, to solve this, uh, ang gawin natin, i-factor muna natin ang x squared plus 10x plus 25. So, ang factor niya ay x plus 5 times x plus 5. So to solve for the solution, uh, let us equate these two factors by 0. Let us use any of these two factors. Pareho naman yan. So x plus 5 equals 0. Simplify natin. Let us subtract 5 to both sides of the equation. Then cancel x is equal to 0 minus 5 is negative 5. So the solution for x squared plus 10x plus 25 equals 0 is negative 5. Now as you observe, uh, pareho ang ating mga naging factors, no? parehong x plus 5. That's because x squared plus 10x plus 25 is a perfect square trinomial. Ano ba itong perfect square trinomials? Perfect square trinomials are quadratics which are the results of squaring binomials. If we multiply x plus 5 by itself, x plus 5, the result is x squared plus 10x plus 25. Let's have letter B. x squared minus 8x plus 5 equals 0. Can we solve this quadratic equation by factoring? No, we cannot solve this quadratic equation by factoring because we cannot factor x squared minus 8x plus 5. If you look at the constant term 5, uh, this constant term 5 is limited only to two factors. And if we combine those two factors, it will never be negative 8 as a result. So that's why uh, we cannot factor x squared minus 8x plus 5. But uh, we can solve these quadratic equations by using other method. And that method is by the use of completing the square. Ano-ano ba ang mga steps sa pagsusolve ng quadratic equation by completing the square? First, write the equation in the form of ax squared plus bx plus blank equals c. Second, divide the coefficient of the linear term bx by 2, square the result, and add to both sides of the equation. Third, factor the left-hand member of the equation and simplify the right-hand member. Fourth, extract the square root of both sides of the equation and last, simplify. Let's have some examples. Number 1, x squared plus 4x minus 21 equals 0. First thing we need to do is to transpose negative 21 to the right side of the equation. Then it will become x squared plus 4x equals 21. Afterwards, kunin natin yung coefficient ng linear term bx represented by 4x at ang coefficient ng linear term 4x ay 4. Di divide natin by 2. 4 divided by 2 is 2. Then square the result. 2 square can be expressed 
as 2 times 2. So, 2 times 2 is equal to 4. Itong 4 na ito, i-add natin sa magkabilang sides ng equation. Then, the equation will become x squared plus 4x plus 4 equals 21 plus 4 also. Okay? So, kung nag-add tayo ng 4 sa left side of the equation, mag a din tayo ng 4 to the right side of the equation. Then, pwede na natin i-factor ito, x squared plus 4x plus 4. Kapag yan ay pinactor, it will become x plus 2 times x plus 2 equals 21 plus 4 is 25. So, x plus 2 times x plus 2 can also be written as square of x plus 2 equals 25. Then, extract natin ang square root. So, get the square root of both sides of the equation. So, the square root of square of x plus 2 is x plus 2 equals the square root of 25 is positive or negative 5 or plus or minus 5. Okay, transpose natin itong positive 2 to the right side of the equation. Then, it will become x equals plus or minus 5 minus 2. Solve muna natin yung positive. So, dalawa ito. So, x is equal to 5, positive 5 minus 2, x is equal to 3. Then, another one. So, x is equal to negative 5 minus 2, x is equal to negative 7. Now, to solve for the solutions of x squared plus 4x minus 21 equals 0, all you need to do is to use the completing the square because we cannot factor this, no? x squared plus 4x minus 21. And after solving, we arrive with the solutions 3 and negative 7. Let's have another example. Number 2, x squared plus 3x minus 18 equals 0. Ang una natin gagawin, i-transpose natin itong negative 18 to the right side of the equation. Then the equation will become x squared plus 3x equals positive 18. Then kunin natin ang coefficient ng linear term represented by 3x at ang coefficient ay 3. I-divide natin by 2. Then kunin natin ang square ng 3 over 2. So 3 times 3 is 9 over 2 times 2, 4. So itong 9 over 4, i-add natin sa magkabilang sides ng equation. So, x squared plus 3x plus 9 over 4 equals 18 and plus 9 over 4 also. Then, uh, factor na natin ito. Ang factor nito ay square of 3 halves. Uh, square of x plus 3 halves equals uh, 18 plus 9 over 4 is 81 over 4. Okay? Then, square root natin uh, both sides of the equation para mawala ang square. Then, it will become x plus 3 over 2 equals square root of 81 over 4 is plus or minus 9 over 2. Then, to solve for x, transpose natin ito positive 3 halves to the right side. 
So x equals plus or minus 9 over 2 minus 3 halves. Okay. So, paghiwalayin natin. So, x equals 9 over 2 minus 3 halves. x is equal to 9 minus 3 is 6 over 2 equals 6 over 2 is equivalent to 3. Then, another one, we have x equals negative 9 over 2 minus 3 halves. So, x is equal to negative 9 minus 3 is negative 12. Divided by 2, negative 6. So, the solutions for x squared plus 3x minus 18 equals 0 are positive 3 and negative 6. Let's have another example. Number 3, 2x squared plus 12x plus 9 equals 0. Ang una natin gawin, i-transpose natin itong positive 9 to the right side of the equation. Then it will become 2x squared plus 12x equals negative 9. Kung mapapansin ninyo, ang coefficient ng ating quadratic term ay greater than 1. So, medyo mahihirapan tayong gamitin ng completing the square. So, para magamit natin ng completing the square, uh, mag-factor out muna tayo. No? Uh, I-factor out natin ang greatest common factor ng coefficients ng quadratic term 2x squared at ng linear, uh, linear term 12x. Yun ay 2 at 12. Ang greatest common factor ng 2 at 12 ay 2. Then, uh, i-divide natin uh, both terms by 2. 2x squared divided by 2 is x squared plus 12x divided by 2 is 6x equals negative 9. Then, gamitin natin yung 6. 6 divided by 2 is 3. Punin natin ang square. 3 times 3 is 9. So, itong 9 na ito, ang i-add natin in both sides of the equation. So, it will become 2 times x squared plus 6x plus 9 equals negative 9 plus, since meron tayong 2 sa left side of the equation, maglalagay din tayo ng 2 sa right side. Then, times uh, 9. Then, simplify natin. Pwede na natin i-factor itong x squared plus 6x plus 9. So, 2 times ang factor nito ay square of x plus 3. Equals negative 9 plus 2 times 9 is 9. Then, bago tayo mag-extract ng square root, i-divide muna natin both sides by 2. So, ang may iwan ay square of x plus 3 equals 9 over 2. Then, kunin natin ang square root. So, cancel. So, x plus 3 equals square root of 9 over 2. So, sa so square root of 9 over 2, yan, simplify lang natin ito. So, magiging square root of 9 all over square root of 2 equals the square root of 9 is plus or minus 3 all over square root of 2. So, pwede tayo mag-rationalize. So, times square root of 2 over square root of 2 equals plus or minus 3 times square root of 2 all over square root of 2 times square root of 2 is square root of 4 so the square root of 4 is equal to 2 so kaya itong square root of 9 over 2 can be expressed as plus or minus 3 square root of 2 all over 2. 
Then, simplify lang natin itong equation. Uh, positive 3 can be transposed to the right side of the equation. So, then it will become x equals plus or minus 3 square root of 2 over 2 minus 3. So, simplify lang natin ito. So, x equals plus or minus 3 square root of 2 minus 2 times 3 is 6 all over 2. So, we cannot simplify this. So, therefore, the solution for 2x squared plus 12x plus 9 equals 0 is plus or minus 3 square root of 2 minus 6 all over 2. So, I hope that you've learned something on how to solve quadratic equations by completing the square. Samahan nyo ako sa mga susunod pa nating math tutorials.